Hollywood Palm Cinema for the premiere of the comedy Paranormal Calamity. Hollywood Palm Cinemas in Naperville, Illinois is a unique movie-going experience. Surrounded by palm trees, their huge lobby houses two bars made with materials from Nepal and India. Classic movie posters adorn the hallways, while each of the theaters has its own theme. Oriental, Egyptian, Aquatic, and Mayan. What a great place to hold a movie premiere. Hey, here's Susie Brack, one of the actresses from the film. Gorgeous. Well, thank as you. always. <laughs> thank you very much. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Hollywood Palms, gorgeous place to have a screening of Paranormal Calamity. I'm loving it. Tell me a little bit about your character in the film. Okay, well, my character in the film is a very psychic, psychic, psychic type of psychic chick uh, who is a former flame of uh, Larry Thomas's in the film. So I come and I uh, I won't give too much away, but I do come investigate the house. I'm here with James Vallow and Pauline Elizabeth Miller. Oh my she God. plays Polly in the film. And yes. how are you guys doing tonight? Very excited. It should be a great time. Uh, pretty big turnout. Sold a lot of tickets. And looking forward to it. This is my uh, seventh premiere. So, uh, you know, it just gets more and more fun every time. Especially having you around and her around. Both of you guys are around. <laughs> yeah. This is Larry Thomas. He plays Dr. Ass Kiss. Yeah. How are you doing? I didn't right? write that. <laughs> I'm doing fine. This is so wonderful, isn't it? How cool. I mean, this theater is incredible. Large is just so beautiful. The premiere got off to a great start with many of the stars in attendance. Moviegoers had a wonderful time getting snapshots with their favorite actors. The producers and directors thanked the packed house for their support. There were roars of laughter, gasps of shock, and the audience was alive with excitement. Hi, did you see Paranormal Calamity tonight? I did, I just got out of it, yeah. Saw Paranormal Calamity and laughed all the way through it. It was, it was definitely not what I was expecting, and uh, yeah, every few minutes we turn to each other going, oh my God! And I, I've never said the word divorce, as many times as I said while watching that movie. Hi, did you see Paranormal Calamity yes, I tonight? tonight? I did, and I thought it was wonderful. My friend Jim was in it, and he played uh, the pimp, and it wasn't what I was expecting. It was very funny and very clever, and I really enjoyed it. Did you see Paranormal Calamity tonight? Yes. I did, yes. So, how did you enjoy it? I liked it. I thought it was pretty funny. I really liked it. Did you see Paranormal Calamity tonight? I did, I did. And how did you enjoy it? I enjoyed it very much. It was, uh, I was surprised. I didn't really know too much about it going in. So I guess you'd say I had low expectations just because I didn't know what to expect. But uh, I was pleasantly surprised. A lot of sex, a lot of sex, a lot of smut, which was good. Very good, I enjoyed that very much. It's funny as hell. I want some chicks like that haunting my place. That's what I want. Did you see Paranormal Calamity? Yes, okay. ma'am. Oh, and what did you think of the film? It's pretty wild. It was really different, and uh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely, an unbelievable movie. Have either one of you had any paranormal experiences? No, right not. <laughs> uh, I will tonight after uh, I wake up. And how did you enjoy the film? I loved it. I was completely blown away. I had no idea that it was going to be like it is. Um, I've got a bunch of friends in it. Uh, I know C.D. Smith, James Vallow, done movies with them before. Uh, great group of people. And um, I don't know, I would recommend go see it if you want a good laugh and if you want to be uh, tripped out in a really strange but exciting kind of way. Well, as an actor, uh, well, the part I play when I uh, when I uh, read the uh, script, uh, John's script, uh, I thought, wow, what a great opportunity to play what probably will wind up being my most flattering role to date. Um, but, uh, so I was excited about that. Um, what I was a little nervous of was um, because, uh, because he's supposed to be what he is, you know, it was kind of like now I got, a, I got the pressure of having to play up to that. We're here with Rob Foreman, the executive producer of Paranormal Calamity. Hi, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing good tonight. Great. Tell me about this film. 
Well, the film, uh, actually, it was really interesting. It started as a marketing campaign for another movie. <laughs> and uh, so we basically, I, you know, I came up with the idea, wouldn't it be fun to spoof paranormal activity with this other movie? And John Norton said, no, I got a better idea, the film's director. Why don't we just make the movie? And I said, John, you're crazy because we would have to make the movie, write it, produce it, raise all the money and get it out in three months. And he said, I can do it. I said, yes. And he said, no, really, Rob, I can do it. I said, all right, try. And he did. And it's beautiful. It, it, it worked out great. So uh, we're thrilled. Have you ever had a paranormal calamity? You know what? This is funny. Today, I'm in the bathroom and I'm, I'm practicing my, my little speech and I'm saying paranormal calamity and the light above me in the bathroom goes off. And I go, paranormal calamity, and it comes on. And I go, paranormal calamity, and it goes off and I go, We're here with Sin DeLay. She's one of the actresses from Paranormal Calamity. Sin, tell me a little bit about your character. Well, my character was really fun because John Norton just gave me the script. It wasn't fully written yet. And he said, I would like you to play um, a ghost in the movie. I said, oh, I'm all about that. But then he said, no, uh, she died in the 1970s and she lived in a brothel. I said, oh, wow, okay. <laughs> you know, but it's for me, I've never played a ghost that died in a brothel and it's very challenging for me so I said okay John what do you want me to do he said just just go for it just do whatever you want so I decided to become a uh, a southerner <laughs> a southerner with a blonde hair completely opposite of me and I had a ball he let me do whatever I want in the film and I had the best time in my life considering it was shot in such a short period of time I had the best time it was great and working with all the actors they're all professional actors. It was really